So it's a super sunny day. Everything's going rosy. No stress from work. Wife isn't giving you any problems. Kids aren't even arguing. And then you hear that dreaded noise that everybody who's a watch collector hates to hear. The sound of your dumb ass scratching your watch on the side of a car door or a wall or a cupboard or God knows what. Why? Why? There is nothing worse in life than scratching your plexiglass crystal. Even a colonoscopy isn't as bad. At least they use lube. Lube. Yeah. I am here in this video to help you rectify this problem. Guys, welcome back to Urology Biology. I am here to help you fix your problem with a scratched watch crystal and without having to panic and think that you have to spend money in getting it replaced, etc, etc. You probably have the tools that I use lying around your house anyway. This is a solution that's worked for me for many years. It's one that I continue to use. So let's get on with it. So this is basically the tools that you're gonna need for this kind of job. It is not that hard at all. First of all, you're gonna need your beat up crystal. Beat up crystal. You're gonna need a few different types of sandpaper, some cotton wool balls, some poly watch cream, and ideally, if the crystal is not on the watch, something to support it. So the best thing that you can use for something like this is gonna be one of those crystal holders that you would use when you're putting a crystal back onto the watch. So as you can see, this crystal is pretty messed up. It is not looking pretty, and this is not the kind of condition that you want your uh, crystal to be in on your watch. No, sir. So the key thing to remember with this is, as long as there isn't a crack, you're pretty much good to go. So the first thing that I wanna do is, I just wanna put this crystal into a holder and so I keep it secure. Now you can do this on the watch, it's not a problem, but it's very important that you will tape off the sides of the case of the watch because you're gonna use sandpaper and it's abrasive and you do not wanna scratch up that case. No sir, that's not good. I mean, you're just gonna create a new problem trying to fix a problem and that's not good for anyone. So once you've got your crystal secure, the first thing that I do is I just want to give it a, a wipe over just with a cotton ball to make sure that there's no dust on there. So once you've done that, I basically work through a process of different grits of paper and I work to a finer, finer level. It's not rocket science. The key thing though to remember with this is no matter how tempting it gets, do not use a power tool like a Dremel. No drill? No drill. You will eat through this. Now they, they call these plexiglass. There is nothing glass about this. It is a piece of thin plastic at the end of the day and your Dremel will eat through it in seconds because it's just gonna create too much heat and then you're gonna have no crystal anyway and then you're gonna need to buy a new one. So then you have no purpose doing what we're doing right now. No, sir. So the first thing that you need to decide is how deep are these scratches on here? If they're quite deep, you wanna start with something a bit more abrasive. So I start with a 320 and I basically work over this crystal. First, what I do is I just get a little bit of water. I just wanna wet the crystal. It doesn't have to be crazy. And then I basically just go at it with my 320. You don't have to go at it really hard. You just wanna basically score it up. And like I said, you're doing this by hand. I usually do this in a straight backwards and forwards motion. And then I kinda of round off the edges a little bit as well. It's a round crystal anyway, so it's not a problem. Like I say, guys, take your time with this. There is no rush. I mean, obviously I'm doing this for a video, so it's kind of like a bit of a demonstration. And as you can see, you're basically taking away the plastic. This white dust that you're building up is material that you're removing. Now you need to bear this in mind. Removing material in most situations is not good because you're losing material. So once you've given it a wipe of this, wipe it off with some a cotton ball. And then basically what you want it to look for on this crystal is you want it to see if you've got those scratches off. Now, I can see that there's still a few on there. If I look through the finer scratches that I've made with the sandpaper, so I'm just gonna give it another little go over. And then what I start to do is, once I'm into this, I start to do it in circular motions. Not too heavy, literally just using my hand pressure. And it can look a little bit scary at first because uh, you're making this crystal look even worse than what it was before you started because you won't be able to see through it in any shape or form. So once that's done and you're happy with that, I just wipe it off with some cotton and then basically I inspect it and you want it to basically look through this crystal and see that you got through the deeper scratches. So as you can see here, I believe that I've got through those deeper scratches that were on this crystal. 
and I'm left with the finer ones now predominantly just made by the sandpaper so now that I've done that I'm gonna start working my way down through a finer grid so I'm gonna start now with an 800 and then again I'm just gonna go at this now now I'm at this stage I'm just constantly using circular motions while I'm sanding this and what you're doing because you're doing it by hand is you are you are creating heat and you're creating enough heat to melt it but you're not creating enough heat to literally just go through it and bust a nut if I'm happy with that I will then move to a thousand again a little bit of water and I will continue the process and what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to remove the finer scratches just basically breaking it down again by hand guys don't go nuts on this take your time it ain't no rush remember you're talking about looking after your pride and joy here so you want to make sure that you go easy nice and slow you know and already I can tell that this is starting to feel better you can actually start to feel it with your uh, fingers that it starts to feel smoother once I've done that I will just wipe it off again I move into my last sandpaper now which is 1200 again a little bit of water and I'm just using light circular motions and again what I also find while I do this is the um, how do I say it the higher the sandpaper I go the less pressure I start to apply with my hands and this is again why it's absolutely imperative that you do this by hand because you're in control if you're using a uh, Dremel the Dremel is basically just set at one kind of speed and yeah you can uh, pull it back on your hand and reapply it but it's a power tool at the end of the day now once you got to this stage the crystal obviously is still like looking a little bit scratched and you can't see through it properly it looks cloudy and this is where you're gonna add your cream now you can get this stuff called polywatch you can buy this for around five bucks it's pretty good you don't have to use this if you want you can use toothpaste as well it works the same and in with toothpaste it's even minty fresh yeah polywatch is not minty fresh so I apply a dab of this you don't have to go nuts and now with a clean cotton ball I just want to rub in this now first what I do is I just lightly really lightly just apply it so I make sure that everywhere has got like some love you want to make sure that you juice this up once I know that I've covered everything then I start going at it and I actually go at it quite hard so I basically just go across backwards and forwards across half of it and I, I am pressing down quite hard so I'm generating more heat because I'm trying to get these the cream into the finer scratches that I've created once I've done halfway I turn the thing uh, turn the holder the other way around and then I'll do the other side now once I've done it all like this and I feel that the uh, polywatch is all soaked in I turn the uh, cotton ball over onto the clean side and then I give it another rub and I repeat the process once I've done that as the very last thing I get a completely fresh cotton ball and I just go at it again because this way I know that there's no uh, cream on the cotton because it's a fresh piece and I'm just cleaning off the excess now with a clean piece and I think we're pretty good to go so there you go guys one clean crystal looking pretty damn good so guys if you found that informative smack a like on this video super appreciate it and i will catch you in the next one